Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be solving this problem that appeared in JE Advanced 2019. This problem is based on the concept of electric dipoles. Basically the problem statement is that we have an electric dipole with a dipole moment of this particular value. It is held fixed at the origin O. If the potential is constant on a circle of radius R which is centered at the origin and shown in the figure, then which of the following statements are correct? So. The circle that is depicted in the picture is basically an equipotential surface, meaning that at each point that we take on the surface, the electric field must be perpendicular to the surface. And it's also given that the radius of the circle is much greater than the dipole size. So this is you can treat this as a point dipole. So we have to find the radius of the circle. We have to talk about the electric fields at point A and B. And we also have to discuss if the magnitude of the total electric field at any two points on the circle it's the same or is it different? So do give this problem a try and then come back for the solution later. Before we begin with the solution, we have to discuss two important results, which is pretty basic. So if we have a point dipole, uh, whose dipole moment is P, then the electric field due to this dipole at, an, at a distance of R along the axis of the dipole is 2kp by R cube. And the electric field to the dipole at an equatorial point at a distance of R from the dipole is minus kp by R cube. And this minus sign basically indicates that the electric field is just opposite to the dipole moment. Okay, so in the problem, uh, the dipole is aligned along along the direction OA. The point A uh, in the circle is along the axial direction of the point dipole, which means the electric field due to the point dipole at the point A will have a magnitude of 2 kp divided by R cube and its direction will be along OA. Now, in the question, they also mention that we have an external electric field that is constant and which has a magnitude of E0. Now, from observing the point A, we know that the electric field due to the dipole is in this direction, which means we can conclude that the external electric field E0 must also be along the same direction. And the reason for that is if, let's say, this E0 was along some other direction, let's say something like this, then it will have a component in the tangential direction of the circle which is clearly not possible as it's given that the circle is equipotential. So as the circle is equipotential, at each point, the net electric field must be perpendicular to the surface, which means E0 must be aligned in the direction OA. So, so the electric field at A is simply going to be E0 plus 2kb divided by R cube and its, and its direction will be in the OA cap, that is I plus J by root 2. Now let's talk about the electric field at point B. So the direction of E0 at point B will be in this direction as it's a constant electric field. Now, point B is in the equatorial position with respect to our dipole, which means the electric field at point B due to the dipole is going to be Kp by R cube. Now, again, the net electric field at point B must be perpendicular to the surface, which means the tangential components must add up to zero, which means we can say E0 equals Kp by R cube, which basically means that the net electric field at point B must be zero. And the net electric field at point A is going to be 3 E0 uh, as 2 Kp by R cube is going to be 2 E0, right? So the net electric field at point A is 3 E0 and the direction is going to be I cap plus J cap divided by root 2. So if you look at the options, option B is wrong, option C is correct. So now we have to determine the radius of the circle. Now for the radius of the circle, we can make use of this relation. Now solving for the radius of the circle using this equation, we'll find out the radius to be P divided by 4 by epsilon naught E naught to the power 1 by 3, which is what's given in option A. So hence that's our answer as well. Now option D says that the magnitude of the total electric field on any two points on the circle will be same. And this is clearly not true because we just proved it using point A and B. Uh, we found out the electric fields at those two points to be different. So option D is automatically rejected. So hence the answer to this problem will be option A and option C. So I hope you guys found out this problem to be very useful. And if you did, do share this with your friends and do like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.